Hi beautiful, welcome back to another video. So let's get right into it. As you can see, this is a fill. So I'm just analyzing her nails. We're gonna change the shape and cut them down. So I'm going in with Kiara Sky's e-file. I think it's at about 12 or 13 RPMs. And I'm using JC Beauty Concepts 5-in-1 bit. And I'm just showing you, I didn't show you all the nails, but you wanna remove all of the top coat cut the nails down or the tips down and now I'm going in to shape the nails with an 80 grit file by Kiara Sky. So I'm going to go through, shape the nails and then we'll come back. All right, so now that we've removed all of the gel top coat, any rhinestones or nail art, and shaped the nails, we're going to go in and push the cuticle back. This would be your starting point if you were doing a fresh set. So we'll push the cuticle back, and then I'm going to go in with a ball bit. This helps with smoothing out any dry skin that is on your epinichium or your cuticle area and it also releases any dead skin that might be attached to your nail plate basically the new growth so I'm going to go in on forward and then I go in in reverse okay I'm sorry did I say on forward I'm going to go in in the forward setting and then I'm going to go in in the reverse setting so that you know we basically just agitate that dead skin and make sure we lift it off of the nail plate once that is done, then I'm going to go in with a fine sanding band. So this way I can remove any lifting and basically blend the acrylic to the natural nail. All right, so I just want to talk about the e-file for a second. I have used it a few times already and it is really nice if you guys are looking for an e-file to start with or, you know, it's always dependent on your budget, of course. But I just want you to know that this e-file is nice and comfortable. It's smooth. There's low vibration. And I'm a big fan of the slim handpiece. It makes it so easy to hold. I mean, because, I mean, we're filing a lot. And it's really important that it's lightweight and slim so that it's comfortable while we're using it. I would definitely recommend it if you're on the hunt for an e-file. All right, so now I am going in with the Sandy Man. It's also by Kiara Sky. I'm using this step to basically make sure my shape is okay. I'm going in and etching the natural nail or the new growth and also blending the acrylic to the natural nail. When you are going around the lifting, you want to make sure that you stay on the acrylic, especially if you are angling the e-file, okay? Because it's important to keep the e-file flush, but you see how I'm going behind the lifting and the e-file is angled slightly. You want to make sure you're staying on the acrylic because it could hit the natural nail and thin out the natural nail. So you want to avoid doing that when you're getting rid of lifting. She's only going to have this fill for a week and then we're going to remove this set and then do a fresh set of nails for her dance. So that's why we went in with something very simple and beginner friendly. And I thought I would share it with you guys because sometimes people do want to know you know how to do fills i know they're not very common anymore or you know everyone likes to just get a fresh set done and it is because fills can be time consuming especially if you are changing the shape and the design and it's an acrylic design you have to remove everything it can be very very time consuming but yeah either way i mean i don't mind doing fills if it's necessary 
Um, some people don't like to do them, but let me know what you guys think down in the comments about fills. Personally, I haven't had this come up, but I wouldn't do a fill on somebody else's work. It would be important for them to come in with no nails on. I think that's important because you don't know what products they use or anything like that. So you just want to be responsible for what you are putting on your client's nails. Yeah, it's definitely something to at least know how to do. Now I'm going to go in and I did swipe her nails with some isopropyl alcohol. No, with, I think it's, no, I swiped her nails with Young Nail Swipe. And then I went in with JC Beauty Concepts Dehydrator. And now I'm going in with Hiara Sky's primer and then we will get into acrylic application So you want to start off by getting nice and comfy your finger is angled down so that your acrylic goes down and doesn't flood the cuticle i get my monomer tap a couple times i don't remember how many i have a really good video on how to pick up the perfect bead it gives you a nice formula for different sizes and um yeah check that out if you haven't i think it's really helpful i've gotten really good feedback on it and then you place your bead, let it go. You also want to tap your brush into the powder and don't drag it. You've probably seen me do it before when I'm in a rush, but don't drag it. Just tap your brush into the powder and then pick up that bead. I am getting used to this brush. I've used it a few times already. Um, but yeah, I'm still getting used to it. It is very soft is what I'm noticing. <laughs> it's very soft. You just need to lightly swipe. And as I get into her other hand with application, I am getting more and more used to, you know, how to use these products together and how to use the acrylic. Was that my stomach? Okay. Anyways, <laughs> I noticed that I poured way too much monomer. I realized that I'm doing a fill and I didn't need that much. So just watch out for that so that you can save on product. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. I'm just so used to just filling it up to do a full set that I wasn't paying attention. And I end up having to, you know, get rid of a lot of it. So don't do that. This is how we learn. You're learning from my mistakes. And it's just helpful for me to make them so that I know what to tell you. Okay. And to tell you what not to do. Right. Right. Okay. So I'm going to let you guys watch the application and then I'll come back.
did I mention when you're doing a fill, you need to make sure you're adding acrylic to your side walls over by where the growth was, just to make sure you're putting that strength back into the nail because sometimes we forget to do that. I'm going in again with an 80 grit file also by, yes, the same one by Kara Sky. And I'm just trying to put the shape back in because sometimes after acrylic application, we do lose our shape. So I'm going to shape these beauties up and then I'm going to go in with Nail Intuition's flat safety bit to blend the acrylic to the natural nail and also smooth everything out. And then I buff and then we get into nail art. She is going to wash her hands and then we get into nail art. But I will come back. Okay, when you're going in with your e-file, you want to make sure you are nice and comfy, of course. But I think that we all learn different ways initially to hold the finger. I would suggest trying to practice or learn holding it like over the finger. If you haven't seen it, I will try to insert a clip. But I'm sure you know what I'm talking about when... It's when you're not holding it from the bottom, but you're holding it from the top and then moving the finger side to side like that, okay? Hopefully you know what I am talking about, but try that first, and then if not, then you can do it under this way. And then also the pinky helps hold the finger in place. I sometimes do lean it on my fingers since they're there, but you should be putting it, see how I'm leaning it on my fingers right here? You should be putting it up against the finger because it gives you more control. It does help me, I guess, to just put them wherever is most comfortable, okay? But you definitely want to practice and get a feel for what's better for you or most comfortable for you, okay? Um, also, another tip is to look at all of your angles when you are filing your nails and filing and finishing. Look at your angles, make sure your shape is nice and you are happy with it and your client is happy with it. And yeah, and that's it. I think that's all the tips I have as far as filing right now and today. But I will come back later.
right, so once the buffing is done, she went to wash her hands, and now I'm swiping with isopropyl alcohol to get rid of the oils. And then I think I go in with some Young Nails Protein Bond. I've seen that done before, and then actually, I didn't show it, but I think I did. And then I'm going in with this color by Madame Glam. It's called Not Your Boo. It has that reflective glitter in it. It's really pretty. She wanted a blue color, so she chose this one. And we also had some matching flowers that are trending right now. The little like 3D flowers with the beads. So we're going to use that on one nail. But um, this entails a lot of curing. I do go in and use Kiara Sky's Bling It Gel. And then I go in with Madame Glam's Top Coat everything is gel you want to make sure you are curing okay cure for 60 seconds come out do your second coat cure do your bling it gel place your gems cure top coat and then cure hopefully that helps but yeah i hope you guys like this set i hope the video was helpful again don't give up on learning i love you and i hope to see you in the next video bye Working every day, I'm stressed out 24 7, babe. No, no timeouts. Wish we could fly away. You and I go to our favorite place. Oh, yeah, yeah. Make special memories together. I'll be your company. Facing a white